Alright. Do a little split screen here. And a little video. Have the Eco Warzy solar tracker. Obviously, with the winds coming from barrel, it has kicked it. It is in a flat position. I'll run the video here in a minute to show you what it does. But I'm actually running this window here to show you the wattage, how much it's actually getting. It is still in this position. Uh, so much wind today, the sensor keeps getting reset. Oh, well, enough hoo ha. Let's run the video. It's a little short one. Wind sensor has definitely kicked. It's got the panel in the flat position. Getting a lot of high winds from that hurricane barrel, I think it's called, up here in West Virginia. Even in the flat position, the panel sure takes a beat rocking around there. You can see the trees blowing pretty hard in the background. Maybe. Wow, see that thing jump around? I guess it would be jumping harder if it was still up, but I did notice earlier when I kicked it out of windlock, spun it back down, it didn't seem to shake near as hard. Maybe it's just me, but this has got to be easier, although I'm not 100% sure how much I trust two little points that hold this thing on. Walk in here a little closer, but I think what rocking pretty hard might slap me in the head here. See the little dog ears? That's all that holds this thing on. I guess that arm attaches to that, which is attached to the bottom. Of course, this arm's already attached to the bottom. It shouldn't shake much. But that's pretty much all it's holding it on. The thing there in the actuator. Two little bolts. Guess time will tell. First windstorm I've had since we've put the tracker in. But as you can see, maybe it's in lock mode, doing the countdown. It seems to, the countdown seems to just keep resetting itself. The wind sensor is obviously moving along pretty good today. Y'all have a fun day. I sure am. Alright, fun little video. Obviously, this display is current. I just looked out the door. It's still in this position. It is extremely cloudy outside. and I'm still getting in 350 watts currently. Which is good. I mean, it'll do what I need it to do. I'll jump over here and look at the history. For today, it has already pulled in 3.44 kilowatt hours. Highest up seen is 1,029 watts, which is pretty good. I mean, there's only 1,200 watts of solar panels there, so that's what, 85%, 86%? I'll take that. Then again, this Victron uh, Smart. Just our charge controller. It's only a 70 amp controller. It does take 150 watt in. I have seen this go up to 70 today. When it's over, when it's at a thousand, so that's basically what it's rated for 12 volt. Thought you might find this interesting because every time I look at a video, it's not showing me what the panels are producing. Working on another one that'll 
do the same format. Actually, show you on a sunny day. Try to do it today, but then the clouds rolled in. So, there you go. Hope you enjoyed this and found it interesting. Y'all have a great day.